Hey guys, Tina here, The Critical Virgo. So today's one of my favorite days of the whole entire month. I don't have a lot of them, but here they are. First and foremost, payday. Who doesn't love that? Secondly, scent bird. A lot of you guys in the community are familiar with it, but if you're not and you wanna hear more about it, hit that subscribe button because I will be putting up a few videos in the near future showing you what I receive on a monthly basis. Third is Ipsy. If you're a chick, then you probably like this. If you're not and you do like it, I won't tell anybody unless if you do. And again, I will be putting some videos up on that soon. Last but not least, we have these bad boys. Olfactif. By the title, you probably already knew that. But if you didn't, here they are. And yes, you're not imagining things. I do have two boxes in my hands, November and December. I wasn't holding out on you with this one. I didn't do a first impressions because I didn't have the box. And there was a little snafu. It is supposed to be my last snafu. I hope, fingers crossed. I am an affiliate of this company, so if you're curious and you wanna check it out, follow that link down below in the down bar. Helps me out, I really appreciate it. And really quick, just for the newbies here, every single month, you receive three fragrances in the mail. It's based on a theme. You get a card inside the box, tells you what the theme is, and also describes what you're receiving inside here. Don't worry, they're safe and secure. This is like a foam. They're locked in there, not going anywhere. And you also get a card for your friends. It gives you a promo code where they can get their first month for $3. And typically, you also get a code that gives you $18 off of a full bottle. For December, they're giving you 20% off, and if you give a gift subscription, you get a travel size bottle for yourself. A 10% 10, 10 off a travel size bottle. Let me correct myself. So without further ado, let me get into the good stuff. So I said I have November's box and December's box. I think I'll start with November first because it comes before December, it just makes sense. So November's theme was masterclass, and they say if you're tired of smelling the same cookie cutter perfumes wherever you go, you're in the right place. This month we feature a masterclass in perfumery. We're calling it How to Smell Amazing and Like Nobody Else, which is really the point of niche perfume, right? First, Fig, a glorious note that niche perfumers love to play with. In our first lection, the fig is clear as a bell, but oh, so easy to wear. Next, we have an edgy rose with sass and grits. Definitely not your mama's rose. Finally, we have an award-winning mix of tobacco and hay, two magical notes that deserve the spotlight. Enjoy and have fun not smelling like everybody else. I do that on a daily basis, thank you. So first, we have Fig by Molinard. We also have Mad Madam by Juliet Has a Gun and Tebec Taboo. Parfum de Empire. Hmm. So I've been on a fig kick lately. Let's start with that. I don't even know where I'm gonna spray all these because I will run out of skin. I could tell you that, but I like the way things smell on skin and not on paper, so. Put it on my upper arm. I'm gonna run out of space. I got six fragrances to try here. So while this dries down a little bit, notes on this, green fig leaf, sweet fig, woody fig. Retails for $65. I'm not getting the $18 off because I missed the month for the code. I'll probably email them if I really like one of these. Ooh, that is really nice. Don't mind my little earring. It's really sweet. It's woody and sweet. I love fig because of that like woody quality to it. Can't wait to try that one out more. Mmm, it's really nice. Hmm. Then we have the uh, Mad Madam. Juliet has a gun, and that is a dark, edgy rose with attitude. Notes on this one, rose, amber, freesia, peony, patchouli, tube rose, moss, jasmine, blackcurrant, vanilla, and castorium. There's a lot going on there. The sprayers on these, by the way, really nice. This retails for 110, and with my code, it would have been 92. Oh, that is nice.
You really get that rose. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that tuberose though. I've never really been a big tuberose fan, to be honest with you. Moss isn't, I don't know. I've never really been a crazy fan of mossy scents either, so this one should be interesting. One thing I should note is, um, if you're thinking about checking this out for the first time and you've never tried niche perfume before, don't judge it right away. Try it, let it sit for a while, come back to it, try it again another day because you'll learn to appreciate certain things that initially you might be like, oh, no, no way. This might be one of those for me, but we'll see. Um, we also got Tibet Taboo Parfum Dampar. This is a honeyed hay. Hmm, okay, so it's got Immortel Tobacco Narcissus. What the heck is that? Honey, grass, and musk. Did I really read that right? Narcissus? Hmm, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that before. And this retails for 160 for a full bottle. So, should be interesting. Ooh, what is that? It is. I've never smelled anything like that before in my life. Okay. Another thing is if you've never tried anything like this before, don't make an impression, like don't make a decision about it within the first like 20 minutes because that hay, it really smells like a barn <laughs> right now. It almost smells like a bale of hay and like if you've ever owned a guinea pig and you've changed their bedding that like cedar those cedar chips even though there's no cedar in here that's what this smells like in a really weird way I like it I like it a lot so I can't wait to wear each one of these so next up we have December and the theme is Tis the Season. It says, first, cozy up. We start with a delectable gourmand that echoes the gatherings of the season. Food, family, and friends. Second, we feature a dark, sparkling rose that's perfect for the holiday parties and a night out on New Year's Eve when we all resolve to make ourselves and the world better. Third, we have the scent of optimism in a perfume. Unlike anything we've ever experienced, it's peaceful and harmonious, exactly how you want the new year to be. We wish you love, kindness, and compassion this holiday season. Spread them around everywhere to everyone, always. You never know who will need them. Well, that's actually really sweet. That was actually really cute. So this month we get Mmm by Juliet Has a God. We get Montal, Rose's Elixir and um, Tardes by Carner Barcelona. Okay, so we'll start with mm, Juliet Has a Gun. It says um, the scent of seasonal treats. It's got Neroli, which is one of my favorites. Raspberry, another favorite note of mine. Geranium, never really explored that. Orange flower, jasmine, sambac, tuberose, iris, patchouli, and sandalwood. Retails for a hundred bucks. And this month with my code that I can actually use, I get it for 80. So let's go. Um, I will put it on up here. And I, I received one other Juliet has a gun fragrance from them. I actually really enjoyed it. It was Lady Vengeance, but it kind of went unnoticed by my boyfriend, so I didn't go for a full bottle. Ooh. Okay, so this is really pretty. It is sweet. Hmm. You really get that raspberry? And the orange. Hmm. 
and then sandalwood. I like it. Um, I don't think it'll really last because I don't know, it doesn't smell like a fragrance that'll really last on my skin, but I can't wait to play with that one a little bit more. Okay. Next we got Rose's Elixir by Montal. This is one of my favorite houses, so I'm so excited. And this one has Rose, Citrus, Strawberries, Jasmine, Orange, oh, Orange Blossom, Amber, Musk, and Vanilla. And it is Visions of Sugar Plums. Oh, <laughs> that is so pretty. It's so sweet. And that citrus, I'm, I'm usually not a huge citrus fan, but this is really pretty. Oh my God. It's like all citrus in the beginning. I'm not really getting much of this um, strawberries. I do smell the jasmine. And the rose, but I gotta wait for the other stuff to come through. I can't wait to wear that. Cannot wait. So next, we've got Tardes by Carner Barcelona, and it is a tribute to peace and harmony. And this is the one that's supposed to wreak optimism, right? Yes. So this one has Egyptian geranium, rose, rosewood, almond, cedar wood, celery, plum. Tonka bean, musk, and heliotrope. This retails for a whopping $130, but with my code, I get it for $104. Lucky me. It's a big claim to wreak optimism. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It's really clean. I mean, honestly, I don't know how this is really gonna hold up in the cold weather. So I don't know how great of a New Year's Eve this scent makes, but I don't understand the celery part. I really don't know what kind of note celery is or what it would add because it is it doesn't have much of a smell to it or a taste to it, at least not to me. Maybe I'm just nose blind to it. I get the almond. And the musk. And rosewood. I don't know if that funky aspect to it is Egyptian geranium. There's a quality to it that's really interesting. Like I can't wait to wear it and see how it holds up. It's really cold here in Columbus. So like I said, I'm gonna wear each one of these for like a whole day, probably two. There's a decent amount in each bottle. It'll probably just last me for two days, if I can, if even. And I will report back. I don't know if I'm going to do one for each scent or maybe just talk about like two of my favorites. I might have to do it that way because there are a lot and I do have a lot of other things coming in the mail that I want to talk to you guys about. But what I really want to mention really quick is this Tardis fragrance. I got to take back what I said. It might last a long time because I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up. It's very, oh, there you go. It's got a really oily base, so this might actually hold up really well on me because my skin eats fragrances, but they've got a nice oily base like this. They usually last a while. So I'll report back on that. It actually smells really nice. Of all of them, just really quick, my favorites have to be this Rose's Elixir by Montal. Mmm, that one's really nice. Man, I really thought I'd like this fig better. This Tibet Taboo Parfum Empire. it's got like this hay. And this uh, Tardis. Those are all, those three are actually really nice. 
So can't wait. I'll report back. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. And like I said, I will be bringing you some videos about Scentbird and I'm sorry guys if you're not into it, but I'm really happy to bring it to you if you are. Ipsy bags. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Bye guys.